Welcome to my birthday edition. Get ready with me! Yay! So I'm 27 today. Yeah. Today it's a Saturday and we are going to the races. We've got a huge bunch of friends going. So I'm going to do my makeup and I'll probably do my hair off camera because I'm just going to curl it like normal. I think I'm going to go for like a bronzed glowing look with a peach lip. Anyway, let's get into it. I did already moisturize my face with my Skin 79 BB cream. I'm going to use the same combo that I used in my Get Ready With Me shopping and um, first impressions of the MAC Pro Longwear. I'm going to use this today and the Makeup Forever HD primer because that foundation lasted forever. Like, it looked so good at the end of the day with just a little touch up. So that's why I'm going to use these today. There was just something about that combo of the primer and the foundation that I'm just like, okay, I'm going to... I know that that lasts so long, so I'm going to use that. So this is in the color NC35, and I have a first impressions on it if you wanted to see how it went. Oh, yeah. I wanted to actually put some of this in the mix of it. So let me just... I was going to do a bit of this. A bit of old mate put on face. I bought this at the price on 40% off sale, the Mineral Therapy Illuminated by Face of Australia, and it's just like a bronze one. I wanted to try out more like dewy, glowing kind of skin looks now that it's summer. I don't know if I just took way too much then. <laughs> Lol. Has anyone tried any of these? There have been a few colours. There's quite a few, I look so funny right now, there's quite a few brands that do products like this. And I picked up this one and I also picked up some Astralis ones. I look like I have the measles. So I'm just going to like mix it all together on my face. Hopefully like the products work okay together and don't ruin the longevity of the foundation. Well that's made it really dewy and glowing hasn't it? So I'll just buff that in. My skin has been really good this week. I've still got like a little scar from this guy and a little scar from that one, but I haven't had any pimpies. I brought out two concealers, which are my favorite at the moment. So the NARS Creamy Concealer in uh, Vanilla and then the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer as well. This one's in more medium three and it doesn't highlight as much, but I really like it. And I'm kind of just going a little bit off the super highlighted look now anyway. But I think I might mix the two together and see what that comes up with. Alright, see look how light that is. It's still like really highlighted though. I wanted to put like a little bit extra highlight. So I'm going to take some of this illuminator. I hope this works. I did this in the... Um, the get ready with me that I did for my friend's wedding. I'm trying not to use the same products because I use like products that I have just been loving for that. Coco had, we've been having issues with her mouth. She actually has some kind of a disease where like her mouth doesn't recognize either that her teeth are part of her body or the plaque on her teeth are part of her body and they're rejecting it. So her gums are constantly inflamed. Not that she's in any pain or anything like that, but she had her teeth clean because we're trying to go through the process of getting it, you know, fixed for her, getting her cured, I guess you would say. And we've tried tablets, um, this stuff that we put in her water, and we <laughs> you should see her right now. <laughs> She looks like a freaking pigeon. She had her teeth clean yesterday. When we got her home, she was just like, from the anesthetic. And I actually filmed it because I'm vlogging this weekend. But the poor little thing, like Dean and I were talking in the room and he's like, look at Coco, she's sitting like a retard. And I'm like, no, she's not. And I look over and I'm like, yeah, she kind of is. Like, she's sitting up normally, but like her back was just like flopped on the ground. I don't know how to describe it. The poor little thing, she's been really out of it and... Yeah. I'm going to set my face with the Australis Fresh and Flawless in Darkest Brown. And then I'm going to set it with Deep Natural for the highlighter parts. I used to set it with the lightest one, but I am really, really tan. So I think I'll um just do it with that from now on. And I know that this is going to like make my skin matte. It'll get glowy during the day because I do tend to have oily skin. 
Or is this deep natural? Oh wow, well, look I'm like really nearly out. Really nearly out. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys forever. It's so funny that I say that talking to a camera, but. Okay, so I'm going to use Max Sculpt from my little blush palette. So glad that I got it because it's like the perfect contour color. I'm going to use a bit of NARS Casino to bronze. So I'm just gonna bronze the outer edges of my face. So in the three, so down from the forehead, cheekbones and jawline. Now I'm using Sculpt to contour, so just in that hollow of the cheekbones. My jawline, my, this hand's just like hanging around. Forehead, nose and underneath my lips. Now I've got this blush from NYX which is in terracotta which is a bronze colour but I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know if it's going to be too like meh. Ooh, it's really pretty actually. Yes, this is this is what I was after. Yep, done, sold. I'm liking how this is turning out now. Oh, perf. I was going to use a little bit of Coralina if I needed it. Uh, I might put a little bit on. Ooh, this one's pigmented. Just to give like a little bit of a... Oh, that was too much of a flush. Oh. For brows, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Blonde. Been loving this lately. I think I'm already sick of my hair again. I think I want to change it. Now, if I had my Benefit Brow Gimme Brow, I would actually use that, but I can't find it. So I'm going to use my Australis Brow Tint in Blonde. I think I want to use the tan pigment by MAC. First up, I'm going to use this Kiko Long Lasting Shadow Stick in 28. I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. I'm going to actually take it up all the way to underneath my brow bone. I'm going to take this color here from the Chocolate Bar palette. I think it's Salted Caramel. And I'm going to pop that in my crease. I love this color. You know what? I have actually been really loving this palette. And my lot. Oh, I don't know if that's going to impact on this. I need to be done before people get it yet. Oh, we'll just do it then. I don't know if this will be any different than what I was just doing, but I'm going to take some on this uh, brush. I don't know what this is. This is a crown brush. It's quite dense, so it packs on color quite well. I'm going to run that on the lower lash line. Pop some in the crease as well. It just has like a little bit of glitter to it. Not glitter, but um, sheen. I think I'll take this color here from the palette. All oh, Dean's among the lawns. But we have people coming over, so he has to mow the lawns. <gasps> Maybe I'll put on some music. I'll put on Taylor Swift's album. Who is loving Taylor Swift, by the way? And I'm going to put that, oh, I didn't tap that off. That's what happens if you don't tap off. Anyway, <laughs> let's see if we can fix this. I just want to deep melt that out of the a bit on the lower lash line and I'll just blend that out and then I'm going to go in with a deeper color. I'm going to go in with this color here. This one's got like a sheen to it, like it's not matte. I don't want like anything too dramatic. I might take some of the darkest matte color, which isn't a black. I would say it's brown. Pressing it in there. Yeah, I think that's okay. I'm just going to take a little bit of this on this fluffy brush and fluff that to blend it all together. This is my favorite song on the album, Style. I'm gonna take this color here, which is next to Salted Caramel and use it as a highlight, in a corner highlight. And take it down on that low lash line to about halfway. I'm going to take the MAC Pigment in Tan. Haven't used this yet, it's like still in its little box. Might wet my brush. Oh my gosh! I'm going to definitely do this. I don't think there'll be any fallout though. Holy crap. Okay, I'm going to wait for that to dry. Freaking amazing though. This did not make any mess than when I opened it. Like my makeup geek ones just go everywhere. Has anyone found like a fix for that? Okay, I think that's kind of dry and I'm just gonna take this with no additional product and kind of just like 
trace it along the outside of the crease, just like really gently. Place a little bit of that darker matte color there. So I'm kind of like blend, dragging it up, and that kind of creates like a little bit of smoke out that way. Not with like heaps of products on your brush, but just kind of blending it out. I've got Soft and Gentle here. <laughs> I was just like, why not pop a little bit in there? I think this is like achieving the look I was going for. And I'm gonna use some as a highlight there as well. Okay, I'm going to use my Astralis eyeliner in black. I'm going to line my waterline and tight line. I'm not gonna do my whole tight line, just like the corner. Might do a little bit on the lower lash line. I haven't even hauled this yet, but I used this for my formal look that I did, I don't know, the other month. And it's a NYX Super Skinny Marker. And it stayed on so well. And it looks like this, and it just, it stayed on so well. Let's hope I don't F this up today. I think I have time to fix that up because our people that are soon just arrived. So I'm going to whack some mascara on. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and I have been loving it. Your lashes clump together, just get a spoolie and break them up and then just put your mascara on. I don't know what lashes these are but these are red cherry. They kind of look like 43s. And then I just like to pull my lash down and just kind of like chuck it in there and uh, hope for the best. That eye I'm fine with, but this one, this one I have a lazy eye, so I, I see with this eye and I don't see with this eye, so I have to go up close to the mirror so you won't see me put this one on. And I'm using MAC In Sync to line my lips. Sorry about all the noise. I'm gonna do this really, really quickly because we're running very late. I think I'll use NYX India. It's too bright. I'm gonna do my hair and stuff and then I'll come back after. That was just like too new. I've got this NYX pencil in Dolly Pink. Now, I've never used Candy Yum Yum before. So bright. So I need to get going because I'm running really, really late and I've got people here waiting for me. But thank you so much for watching and I'm sure I'll have a lovely birthday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You got that jeans